Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Yay! Hey, you guys. Happy Thursday. I hope everybody's doing good today. So I have a special guest here with me, and she is coming from my little conspiracy group. If you guys do not know, um, about a week or so ago, I decided to start a little mini conspiracy group in my DMs. And initially, I thought we could have upwards of 50 people. But Instagram cut it down to 31 people. And so Emily is one of the members of the group. And we have been talking even before the group. And um, we we're talking about a lot of just really deep stuff with the over-sexualization of children and, you know, these sexual toys that are getting put out there. Um, so I want to go ahead and introduce Emily. Thank you so much for joining me today on my podcast. Oh, no problem. I'm super excited. <laughs> so you are a member of the conspiracy group. Um, so what do you think about the group so far? It is awesome. There's so much information. There's so many just really cool people on there. And every day I learn something new, like things that I, I do my own research. But once you have that many people kind of on the same wavelength and we're all coming together and sharing information, and everybody gets along. It's super cool. It's super chill. And we're all just kind of working on figuring things out, different perspectives. Yes. And that's what I love about it. It's like, I don't have to be in there every day. I don't have to babysit. You know, nobody's a kid in there. Everybody's grown, right. respectful. We can agree to disagree. But I've learned so much just from you guys in the past week. I'm like, dang, I didn't know about this conspiracy. I've never seen this trailer Thank before. You. <laughs> right. You Thank know. You. Yeah, so it's like every time we log in, it's something. You know, we could be going from one minute we're talking about Gaylene Maxwell, then the next minute we're talking about forest fires and going esoterical. So I love it. And right. I know a lot of people yeah. have been kind of upset on Instagram, and they're like, oh, I want to get in. So what I'm thinking is we may make it bigger because um, I do want to be able to give options to people who are members on YouTube and um, my Patreon people. So I'm thinking about starting possibly a discord group. So um, with discord, right. I think it'll be, it'll be room for more people. Right. And it's pri It will be private, you know, and we'll just send the link mm -hmm. out to people, to certain people. But at least that way we can have more people involved because the engagement with just 30 people is awesome. So I couldn't even imagine if it was like 100 people. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The more, the more people, the, and it's so, it's such a diverse group, and the more people and the different walks of life everybody comes from and the more information that we can all share with each other, I think the better. Exactly. Exactly. So I know one of the things that we talked about is just because um, I remember you had sent me some stuff in the DMs and we were kind of just on the same wavelength that day. That's what was so funny about the stuff you were sending me because I'm like, hold on. I've been seeing stuff, too, about, you know, these dolls and, you know, just right. Um, if you guys have not seen it. Um, let me see. I think the dolls. What are they called? You dip them in cold water. The LOL dolls. That's the uh -huh. name of them. And so they look like little normal, little cute dolls. But then once you dip them in cold water, they have on lingerie, stripper outfits. Um, one of the dolls had a pizza on her back. So a lot of people equated that to Pizzagate. Another doll had like an extra private area piece. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a lot. One looked like a dominatrix or something. It was crazy. And she has fishnet stockings on. Yeah, they have lingerie on. Fishnets. What is this world coming to? <sighs> oh, there it is. It sure is. It has lingerie on. That's unbelievable. And you put it in warm water. Does she have a tattoo on her arm? It sure does. There it is. Right. And, you know, there was something else I remember I had sent you. There was, a, like, there's, like, all these weird dolls. Because I'm, maybe I'm just old school and I don't have any girls. So I'm just used to Barbie dolls. And then I remember the Bratz craze. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't know where right. all these new little dolls are coming from, but they're doing the most. There was another doll, I think yeah. I had showed you about it, where it came, where the doll was in a milk carton 
almost like those missing kids yeah. milk cartons. And so one of the parents yeah. ended up calling the 1-800 number. And when you call it, it was a phone sex line. Did you remember seeing that? Yeah, I remember that. Right. Yeah, that is so unnerving. And I want to show you. This is a milk carton, obviously. And it has a, uh, have you seen me? on there with a the phone number okay you don't think much of it but little kids are playing with this toy opening this toy and they're going to be curious and it says please call so what do you do your kid picks up the phone and they dial the number 1-888 too much t o o where's m <laughs> H. Okay. That's what it says on there. Bam. And this is what happens when you call the number. Oh, we gotta put on the speaker. I've been waiting for your call. Want me to send you a sexy pic of me? Press one now to receive naughty okay. triple X stuff. No one. This is bad enough as it is, but if you press one. By pressing one, you verify that the mobile number from which you are calling is your own. And you consent to receive promotions from MMS Broadcasting and NTS through auto dial calls, text or picture messages, and pre recorded voice messages. So I'm not going to press receive. one. Like, what does that have to do with dolls? It was very, I remember that when it was. It was very, it's just creepy. It is. And it's like, you know, kids, they don't know any better. I remember calling all types of numbers as a kid on the back of the cereal box. And, you know, when you'd see the 1-800 commercials, I would always call those numbers just to be calling them, you know, because when you're a kid, you don't know. So imagine calling this right. number that's on the box of your toy. You know, you're thinking maybe you'll be able to talk to that character. Who knows? And then it's this phone yeah. sex thing and hit one if you want me to keep sending you dirty messages and texts. It's like, what in the world is this? You know? Yeah. And a lot of younger kids have their own phones, too. Yeah. And that's so, the scary access, part. It, it's almost like you feel like a kid, especially a young girl. You, it's not uncommon for a seven or eight year old to have their own phone. No, it's not. It's not at all. Um, I remember my oldest, he had his phone own phone at eight you know it was just a regular little flip phone just so when he got home he could call me let me know he was safe and stuff like that but yeah these kids be having super high-tech phones now iphone 11s yeah, exactly. and they're like yeah. in third grade it's like i don't even own an iphone 11 sir like fall out <laughs> nobody's calling from a house phone so it's not like when we were younger and we would call our friends and our parents got a phone bill and they saw, you know, who you called and things like that. It's, it's just not as monitored these days. No. And even think about when we were younger, there's really no privacy. Because even like when I was young, like we didn't get a cordless phone until like maybe seventh grade. So up until then, you yep. had a phone that was stationary in the kitchen and you sat right there in the yep. kitchen and you talked and your parents were in the other room. They could hear everything you were saying. And then maybe as you got older, you got a 20 foot extension cord and you could kind of move around the house a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like that video of that phone cord, um, that, that fight that went down in Atlanta. <laughs> I was like, I'm the phone cord. Like that was so old school. How that phone cord was following that fight. That was funny. I know. The phone cord was fighting. <laughs> exactly. But the sad thing is, like, nowadays, like, you know, even back then, your parents would eavesdrop and pick up the other line and listen. Cause I know my parents always did that right. crap. Listen in to your conversation, see who yep. you're talking to. And now there is no other line. We, we we technically don't know who our children are speaking to. We just have to take their word for it. Or, you know, like you right. said, check the phone logs and stuff like that. So for them to sneak a 1-800 sex number on that toy box, which is very, very unnerving, very disturbing. So now I wanted to go ahead and kind of segue into this um, Netflix show, and it's causing a lot of controversy. As of oh about an hour ago, um, the New York Post, um, they made a blog about it, and several other ones are too, and a lot of people are accusing Netflix of promoting pedophilia. Um, so let me go ahead and kind of break this down for people who don't know. We had posted in the group yesterday, and I also posted on my main Instagram page, that Netflix has a new show coming out, and it's called Cuties. Yeah. 
And basically, the premise of Cuties is that we have an 11-year-old girl. Her name is Amy, and she starts to rebel against her, her conservative family's traditions. Um, she's of African descent. She's Sanglinese, and she's a Muslim girl. And so basically, she's living in a poor neighborhood in France, and she's seeing these other girls, um, and they're kind of free to do them. And they start this whole twerk team. Okay, now these are 11-year-olds. And so she's bucking against her Muslim family to join this twerk team. What's up? Hey, tea sippers. To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.